Hi guys, welcome to Pentastic Recipes on Pentastic Life. And in three seconds, I want you to answer this question. What is your favorite snack? One, two, three, go. I hope it was Cheez-Its because that's kind of what we're making. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back guys, and like I said, today we are making low carb, hold on, it's been a while, I'm sorry. La, 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 la. Okay, so today we are doing a recipe from eatwell101.com, and I'm turning my head because my phone is sideways and it didn't flip. <laughs> and we are making the low carb cheese crackers, thus why I said, if you like Cheez-Its, this video is for you. For the ingredients, we have one cup of mozzarella cheese, one cup of grated Parmesan, and yes, your girl did grate that Parmesan by hand. So this is the fresh stuff, not the one in the green container. I don't know if it makes a difference, so this is what we had on hand. One cup of almond flour, two ounces of cream cheese, one egg, please don't drop it, a uh, half teaspoon of sea salt. We have pink Himalayan sea salt here. And it's supposed to be one tablespoon of chopped rosemary, but someone didn't tell me that we're all out of rosemary and they used it all and didn't tell me. Sorry. So we're using Italian herbs. Herbs, herbs, herbs. It's herbs. Herbs, but I mean, there's rosemary in there. It should taste good, whatever. Shall we get started? Let's get started. Let's get started. All right, so first thing we do is, I don't know, hold on, I gotta scroll. Okay, we're preheating the oven to 450 degrees. Our oven is very loud, so we are opting to use our, actually it's pretty dirty, don't look at it, <laughs> our toaster oven. So we have the option of doing a regular conventional oven, or a convection oven, which kind of like moves the air, hot air around and yeah. And then we can air fry, but we're not doing that. So we're gonna put it at 450 degrees and that is pretty much as high as ours will go. Um, let's just go ahead and preheat that. I think that's right. Yeah, okay, we're good. No, go, good way. So what we are going to do is we're gonna take our cheeses, again, that's mozzarella and Parmesan. It says here we're gonna combine it with the cream cheese. You almost broke the bowl. I almost broke the bowl. Um, and the almond flour. Almond, you say almond, almond. Why would you say almond? I don't know, tomato, tomato. And then we're gonna actually put it in a, in, oh, we're gonna put it in the microwave, so make sure your bowl is microwave safe. All right, and we're gonna put it in for one minute. And it says, immediately stir the ingredients using a fork or spatula until the almond flour and cheeses have fully combined. The cheese should be partially melted. Partially melted. All right, so, in the microwave for one minute. Oh, don't look, it's so dirty. <laughs> so embarrassing. I used my middle finger and I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> Anybody else use their middle finger? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're good. I think they're partially melted. Should I? Do I have to answer her? I don't even know what she's talking about. Alexa, make an announcement. We're recording, honey, and I have no idea what you're talking about. Announcement. So, we are using a spatula. I'm guessing if they said a fork or a spatula, you're, you want a stiff one. And it looks like we're just going to combine, oh, this reminds me of that stromboli that we did. Do you remember that? Nah, no, not at all. We are going to fully combine this. And this is going to be our dough. All right, so now it says, allow the cheese and almond flour to cool down for a couple of minutes. Then add the egg, salt, and chopped rosemary. We have to make sure this dough is uh, cool because we're adding that egg and we don't want it to be scrambled eggs, right? We don't want no scrambled eggs in our crackers. Let's go ahead and let that, actually look, it is, it is like dough. Look at that. It kind of looks like 
bread dough-ish. Yeah, yeah, right? All right, so let's let that cool for a bit. Shall we? We shall. We shall. We take a break. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. How are you? All right, so we gave it a few minutes to cool down. I think it is good. It did say that if the cheese gets too hard or it's hard to kind of like manage, you can go ahead and put it in the microwave for another 20 seconds. But I think we are good here. I hope so. So now we are going to add our egg, salt, and whoop, our herbs. Ooh, that's a lot of herbs. Oh, it smells good already. All right, and then we are going to combine this. While you're mixing, people say hi to Tom Tom. Hello, Tom Tom. How are you? Are you doing okay? Where's your bone? Are you getting bored? I'm sorry. And getting a arm workout. I would think that's combined enough, don't you think? Looks good to me. Show it. All right, so now we grab two pieces of parchment paper. I cut one parchment paper to the size of our pan. Um, I did that because with the toaster oven, sometimes it'll flap up, so I wanted to make sure. So this is gonna be our bottom. Ooh, don't look at that. Oh, don't look at that. We're just gonna go over here. <laughs> I'm looking. No! I'm looking. I'm looking. Now, we're going to take our dough And we're going to press it down. We're going to use the, the. Oh, I, I, I just started doing it. <laughs> I'm using a rolling pin to kind of thin out, press it down, thin it out. Oh, and that fell over. So we need to do this. Jeez, we're such amateurs. They did say the thinner your dough is that you make it, the crispier the cracker. We like crispy crackers. Mm -hmm. May have to play around with this because our pan will not be big enough for all of it, as you can see. It's a good thing we wiped down our counters. That's thin enough, right? Right? I think so. All right, well, we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna spread the, spread the dough out in a thin layer. Huh? Transfer to a baking sheet and use a pizza cutter to cut the crackers into small squares. And you can sprinkle with more Parmesan if you like. I probably would have, but I don't want to grate anymore because that hurt my arm. One, two, three. Oh, this is not gonna work. So we're just gonna kind of We're gonna have to save it for later. Put it back on the parchment paper here. And we'll just use it for another batch. We'll just cook it later, you know? Sure. Ooh, did you see that? It's like butter, look at that. Boom. Okay, wait, let me get this real quick. All right, we'll save that and we'll do another batch. So now we're going to make Little tiny squares. What do you cheese it so big? Is that about that big, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, the pressure's on. Oh, and that thing, that's not even, but you know. Oh, that's not even either. Yeah, close. <laughs> There's a little, it's like bump. Uh -huh. Shut up, you wanna do this? Nope. Do you wanna do this? Nope. Just make it as even as possible. I mean, come on. What do people say? We're going for the rustic look. All right, that's good, right? So now we're going to bake it at 450 degrees. And I lost it, hold on. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna bake it at 450 degrees for 10 minutes on each side. So 20 minutes total. And it says, if your crackers are thin, bake a little less, like five to seven minutes on each side. Allow the low carb crackers to go. Okay. So let's go with 
five minutes first and check it out because I think we got it pretty thin, right? Okay. So let's go with that first. Let's get this in our toaster oven. Ooh, that'd be hot. Hold on. All right. All right, Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. And now we wait. Okay. All right, so this be burning even after five minutes. So, you're supposed to flip it. Ooh, ooh, that smells like cheesy bread. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to flip this. It's like one big giant. This is gonna be a huge fail, you know, if I try to flip this. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Oh, God. Oh, 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 okay. I feel like we should have picked an easier recipe. The world is watching. I have many words I would like to say to you right now, but I will refrain. <laughs> oh God, what do I do now? <laughs> okay, one. Hey, hey. All right. You know, it'd probably be easier on an actual baking sheet and something not this small. So now we uh, need to bake this side. So I would think another five minutes Definitely keep your eye on it. See how it's already brown? So we're gonna put five minutes, but I'm keeping an eye on it. And please note, sometimes toaster ovens uh, uh, are hotter than, run hotter than ovens, and all ovens have different temperatures and run different, and yeah. So just give you a heads up. All right, so it looks like some of these pieces are burning, so we're just gonna cut it off. That was about four minutes, three minutes. Ooh, yeah, that's Toasty. Ooh. Here, I'll put it that way. Ooh, so, yeah. it's almost like burnt. <laughs> so now it says that we need to put it on a cooling rack for about five minutes. After that, they will be ready to eat. Do I have time to play some Animal Crossing? Nope. But I need to pay off my house. No. I'm in debt to Tom Nook. All right, guys, so ours looks more like burnt chicken nuggets, but you know, let's, I mean, it smells good. Let's hope it tastes good. Are you joining me for this taste test? I absolutely am. Cheers. Cheers? Cheers. Cheers. First off, I'm pleasant, pleasantly surprised. Uh, usually when you cook with almond flour, you get that grainy texture. Um, you don't get that with this. Even though these were burnt, it's still like chewy. It's almost like bread. The texture was almost like bread, like a focaccia bread. Focaccia. It said a tablespoon of rosemary. We did a tablespoon of Italian herbs. I would definitely cut that down. For me, I feel like the Italian herbs, because it's so powerful, uh, if I were to use Italian herbs again, I would definitely cut it down. I don't know how it would work with rosemary. On a scale of one to five pins, I would have to give it a three and a half. Would I make it again? I don't know. And I say that because it was kind of a lot of work for something like this. Yeah, I, I would eat them though. So I don't know, maybe I would make it, I don't know. But it doesn't taste like a cracker. It's more of like a focaccia bread, crouton kind of thing. And it's not crispy. It's very like chewy. What are your thoughts, Ryan? Uh, I pretty much agree with you. Yes, it is a little on the chewy side. I think it would be good with a dip of some kind. I just don't know. For some reason, sour cream sticks out to me, or, or something sour cream based, or sort of with that consistency, I don't know. Maybe a marinara? Maybe that too. Yeah, because it's got that garlicky bread taste. Mm -hmm. Oh! Okay. Sorry, I just got a crispy one. Ooh. Try this one. That one tasted much more like a cheese it Yeah. Very much more. They're not bad. I would say, I think I'd give them a three out of five pin. Respectable, but um, you know. Not my, not my first choice of snack. But after tasting that crispy one, 
I would want to try again. Try and make it again and make it a lot thinner. And then it almost seems like when you have a crispy one, the Italian seasoning isn't as powerful. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And what? <laughs> it's been so long. And if you would like us to do more of these, let us know by commenting down below. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.